Hey everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hopefully everyone's doing well. So I want to make a video but I don't really have anything to talk about or to show so I'm just gonna make it up as I go along. So I thought I would share my ever-growing uh, amount of supplements that I'm taking. It has grown a lot ever since I discovered that I have Hashimoto because I'm trying to fix myself without actually going and to get something you know from the traditional medical industry because <laughs> I feel like all the medicines that the doctors would give me is going to be very it's going to be very harsh on my body it's like their just normal dosage would give me i don't know it would give me it doesn't it won't give me any control how to fix my body and if i take those uh medications i feel like they are going to interfere with my experimentations of what i want to do with my body so i'm taking a lot right now <laughs> So just for a little bit of background, I found out that I have Hashimoto. Oh well, I probably have had them my whole life. I just kind of came into a conclusion through blood tests and through lab tests, you know, the normal route. Um, during my consultation for my ear infections i was having ear infection i went to the doctor and the doctor basically said hey you haven't been taking blood tests for a long time i don't know i can't see your history because i don't go to the doctors often the only reason i went was because my ear got infected i really didn't want to live with it for too long and i was living with it for a week and it wasn't going away so i went to the doctor for the first time in like 10 years 11 years so i ordered the blood test and then they basically found out um it's written in the blood test a result like oh I think you have Hashimoto even though the doctor didn't really say that which is interesting because I think like if you have any blood test or lab test done make sure that you're gonna you need to get your test result printed out or you can access them yourself otherwise it'll be very difficult to just uh, count on what the doctor says because you know, doctors are people too. Anyway, enough of two and a half minutes rambling. So let me share you what I'm taking this day. So I'm taking selenium. So this is basically for my thyroid. I want to make sure that all the goiters are gone. I don't know if they're helping or not, but I'm taking this. Right now I'm taking two a day. Uh, the dosage is 150 microgram. I'm, I'm, I'm not really picky about any... Um, about the brands. I just go to Cami's Warehouse. So that's basically my Cami's... Uh, I go there um, because it's basically in every single corner of um, Sydney suburbs, to be honest. Organic Zinc, they usually have like two or three stores even in one suburb. In Hurstville, they have like two, um, like just very close to each other. In Bona Junction, they have two very close to each other, like a hundred meters, uh, um, like between the two stores. And right now, I'm taking... Also, uh, sarcoma bularity, which is uh, nutritional yeast. So I'm taking this uh, because I, I'm reading this book called The Hashimoto Protocols uh, by this pharmacist called Isabel Waltz. Um, and he, she basically suggested this if you wanted to get rid of, of like your intestine your gut issues it helps um, a lot um, it also probably get rid of a lot of parasites and a lot of uh, other problems basically also like there is this bacteria called blasto something um, and this one helps with that it also helps after if you take like antibiotics which I did from the doctor for my infection it really stuffed me up and so that to ease the symptoms of uh, taking antibiotics. So I also double up on that particular um, bit, meaning like functionally, I'm trying to balance my gut after the antibiotics intake. And I also want to get rid of a lot of, I don't know, whatever it is that is not good in my gut. I'm taking Tatka. 
I bought this in Bondi Junction and it's quite hard to get like you can get one from Amazon but I bought uh, one from Amazon and it didn't arrive Australia Post stuffed up my uh, order and I got really mad about it this week actually that's probably my whole week uh, thing was like I was so mad that the Australian Post stuffed up my delivery I don't know where they are right now I bought like a different brand um, and double the dose at lower price <laughs> and then it's gone the delivery guy I don't know where they ended up delivering it to but this is very expensive it costs like $80 and this is 60 for 250 milligrams dosage I got this from a supplement store you know, for like bodybuilding like fitness supplement store in Bonai Junction and I found it's the only place that sell it in, in, in Sydney for as far as I know um, and this one is for bile, uh, it's to help you digest fat, which I think is a reason why I wasn't, um, I, I was having a high cholesterol, maybe because my bile production was really low and it was, it was sluggish and then it also impacted my liver. The bodybuilding people, um, community use this to clean their liver if they're using steroids, but I'm not using it for that, I'm using it for, to help me, um, digest fat because it's a bile acid it's one of the bile salts um but yeah but i want to get from amazon if i after i recover from the trauma of them misdelivering it to other people maybe so after i get over that i'm gonna order some more because um i think this is really useful because i can actually feel like some of the fat that is like in the back of my neck kind of melting away um, you know, you know when you get like triple neck at the back here, those are cholesterol apparently. And yeah, anyway. So I'm also buying this B complex. Um, so this is a lower dosage of B's, vitamin B's. Um, I have like three different vitamin B's. Like I have the 150 milligram one and the 50 milligram ones. And if you're a woman. Uh, you should get vitamin D because when you have your menstrual cramp, you need to take the higher dosage. And I found like, um, I started off with the higher dosage in the beginning, like on a different brand. And then I kind of lower down the dosage as I go after about like four months in now. So I was, I was on higher dosage and then I keep lowering in my dosage so now it, this is the lowest dosage that I can get so this is between 7 milligrams to 20 milligrams of the other ones so it's like half 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 and the purpose of this is to help your microbiomes in your guts also it all comes down to the guts and I have my B12 also have this so if you have problems with so this is digestion plus digestive enzymes you can get this from mr vitamins um any mr vitamins and this is a betaine hydrochloride so this is a, a hydrochloric acid to increase your stomach acid to digest protein so if you have a low which what hashimoto hashimoto people usually have low um, stomach acid and I didn't even know that like when I first started this I first started this because I was having like this standard issue my my stomach was so big and then it also grew sideways and it was really bad and then I was like watching the Dr. Burks on YouTube like you can just search it and she would suggest like get betaine hydrochloride to help that uh, because you might have a lower stomach acid and it did so I keep it always um, in stock just in case my body is like oh it's lethargic again and I can't digest beef if I eat beef and stuff so I also have amino acids these are like just to help me I think I showed you this last time so it just helps with liver I have K2 I also bought one from Amazon which I think is pretty cool I have this one is 600 microgram. Um, Australian ones usually the maximum they have 180 micrograms. I don't know why, 
but um, it's, oh, it helps to get rid of calcium from your organs um, and so that it prevents like calcifications of your heart and calcification of your artery so which is very important because if I'm taking vitamin D um, I'm, uh, that's one of the thing why I was like so down because well I one of the products that I bought off Amazon was this 10,000 um, IU of vitamin D with K2 so it was a really pity because I could have just taken two pills instead of 20 pills which is what I'm doing with vitamin D right now so this is in Australia you can only sell them in um, a thousand IU tablets um, this is the best that I can buy in Australia like which is you can get like this big one for 400 capsules with Swiss and Cami's warehouse for $15 it's good value, but still, like, I really want to just get, like, two capsules that is the same dosage. Which is why I was so upset when the delivery guy didn't deliver it to me. I'm still upset because it happens this week and it's still ongoing, I think. I don't know if they're going to bullshit me and came back like, oh, you know, we're really upset and it never happened again. It happened twice. So it's not like it will never happen again. And on the side, I'm taking sometimes quercetin. I'm taking it today uh, because it has an antihistamine, antioxidant, and even health. So basically, I'm taking this to prevent hay fever because my eyes was dry and my road, my nose was runny. So it's pretty good actually. Quercetin uh, um, is just to take to keep all those histamine in check in your blood. Um, I'm also taking this. Especially after this is a uh, L carnitine, so most bodybuilder would use this to be, to burn fat. But I'm using this to supplement my liver because after the antibiotic, I was feeling really weird. And as soon as I took one scoop of this, I felt better straight away. Like I didn't feel better like hundred percent straight away, but there was a little bit of a gap um, from why what I was feeling back then to. The, like you know it, I was like at 30% and then I took this and I was like became better like 30% like become 60% um, this is what you you can get this from natural food which is like beef and I remember I have been eating beef and pork for like two four a year so I already had built up my carnitine um, reserve in my body but then I have to take like two vaccine shots antibiotics so I think it depleted severely my kind of time um, reserve in my body even though I have built it up since like a year ago and that's what I've been taking um, I bought this which is Bullardi as well but this is Australian's one and the reason why I wanted to buy it from Amazon is because Australia ones is very expensive this cost $30 um, no, this one cost $35-ish for 30 capsules and it will, and it cost $30. So for 120 supplies cost me about $130. Well, this only cost me, even like at the rip-off uh, price, $80. So this is the same dosage, same, um, same amount of capsules, but it was still much cheaper and a lot more effective as well so uh, if you need to buy supplements you need to go to Amazon and buy it it's cheaper seriously and uh, today I bought magnesium hyzorp again so this is magnesium glycinite with magnesium chalate um, this is a restock because before I finished like two bottles before this actually so this is really good for it when you go to you when you go to sleep um because your body if your body is twitching or if you are exercising regularly you need to take magnesium because your body will be depleted and also because i'm taking high dosage of vitamin d i um i will be needing magnesium because i will definitely deplete my magnesium reserve and i'm taking this as well this is vitamin c vitamin this is collagen um, and this is magnesium so I'm taking a lot of magnesiums uh, 
different kind of magnesium actually. So it, why? Because the pills are so big, it's really hard to take. Like I'm also taking this, just like this is magnesium citrate, and this is the pill. It's really big. I really don't like pills. I don't like tablets. I prefer capsules. It's a lot easier to swallow. So I have like uh, fish oils, but fish oils I don't really use them that often because I don't know. My body doesn't enjoy eating this as much as I want it to, but yeah. Um, and I have, I also bought like this today, magnesium. So this one is a time release formula. I don't know whether this is going to be good. So I'm trying a lot of different magnesium types and uh, powder form, ever essence tablet form pill form, capsule form, because magnesium usually is attached to other other chemicals like you have magnesium phosphate pentahydrates, you have magnesium oxide, magnesium orate, orotate, magnesium citrate, magnesium aspartate dehydrate, magnesium amino acid chelate. So like there's a different kind of magnesium and I want to try to figure out what works for me. This works for me really good um, because it's a capsule. Uh, sorry, yeah, it's capsule, it's not tablets. But the problem is this only have about 100 milligrams of magnesium on each capsule, so it's a low dosage. This is good because it has 200 milligram of magnesium, but this is a carbonate, which means that it will help my stomach acid neutralize itself. Um, it's good for people who have high, too, too much stomach acid, but it's really bad for me because I have um, lower stomach acid. So this will actually lower my stomach acid further. So even though I enjoy drinking this because you just have to drop it in the, in, you know, in a glass of water and you just drink it, it's really, it's really not good for my stomach and my digestion. But it's convenient because it's you basically just drop it in the in the bottle in the water and then it just diffuses itself and you just drink water, right? But I think it's good for vitamin C and stuff because this one becomes acidic. So this one becomes acidic, but that one becomes not as acidic. So I also have this which I use every now and again. So this is like the active form of Q10. Q10 currently is being really popular in the supplement world. So this is the active form. So Q10 is uh, good for your heart and also antioxidant. But I only use it every now and then, not as much, just because my heart can't take it that much because my heart would go really fast, would beat too fast. So yeah, so I think that's the basic of what I'm taking. I'm taking a lot, but But yeah, that's 18 minutes of talking about my supplements. I hopefully, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to fix myself. It's about high dosage, or it's about getting the dosage right. Sometimes you have to lower it, sometimes you have to increase it. So I guess, like, that's it for me. <laughs> uh, if you want to buy it from Amazon, I don't have any link for Amazon, actually. Do I? I don't know. Anyway. I think there is a link to Amazon on my for my mobile, for my phone. If you're gonna buy something for from Amazon, can you use that link? I'm gonna get a little commission so if you buy anything off Amazon after you click that link. But if you don't want to, that's fine. Anyway, that's me with me, my supplements. I know I rambled for 20 minutes about that. Hopefully, I will see you guys next week if I'm not too lazy to upload any videos. I'm trying to keep up with at least once a week video, but yeah. Also, today I met a new friend from Bumble. Not boyfriend, just I used the feature BFF Bumble and it went great. I talked to her for two hours during dinner and after that dessert. And we didn't really have a lot of conflicts. Our personalities are quite tame and subtle and the same. Our energy are the same. I didn't feel like I was um, drained at all, which is important. But anyway, 
nice update, life update for me. I'll see you later. Bye, everyone. <laughs>